Number 70, draw the structure of hydroxylamine, which is H3NO, and assign formal charges. And then look up the structure. Is the actual structure consistent with the formal charges? Okay, so uh, spoiler alert, I know what hydroxylamine actually looks like. So we're going to switch this question a little bit. I'm going to give you two structures and we're going to find the formal charges. And from that, we will figure out which one is the correct structure of hydroxylamine. So now it looks like it's, it's written kind of from left to right, right? If I'm saying H3NO, so I can just write it basically like this, right? Where I have the three hydrogens like this all bound with the nitrogen, and then I have an oxygen, and then this oxygen should have a lone pair. And then maybe we'll do something crazy in which maybe it's not drawn like how it is, right? And maybe there's only two hydrogens. I'm just, I'm just messing it up, you know, just trying to see different things here. And then maybe the other hydrogen is bound to the oxygen. So you kind of have to think of all of the... Uh, you know, all the sides in chemistry. Okay, so now let's get down to it. Now, let's start with the hydrogens first, right? The hydrogens all look exactly the same. Each hydrogen that I drew has only one bond attached to it, right? One bond, one bond, one bond, one bond, one bond, one bond. So if we can find the formal charge of one hydrogen, we know it for all six that we drew. So let's start with the top one. So a formal charge for hydrogen is... Always start with the valence electrons from the periodic table. Hydrogen has one valence electron, so that's one minus the number of bonds that's bound to that hydrogen. So in this case, there's only one bond, so that's minus one, and then minus the number of dots that you see that's around that atom. But if I look at this hydrogen, there's no dots here, right? There's no literally dots. So this would be minus zero. And if you do that, one minus one minus zero is zero, which means that all of these hydrogens, because they're exactly the same, are all neutral. They have no charge. So we're getting close, right? We, we first figured out that some of the atoms are neutral. Now let's look at this nitrogen, which is different from this nitrogen because this one has four bonds, one, two, three, four as opposed to this nitrogen, which has one, two, three. So we're going to have to do the formal charge for both of them. So let's get down to it. Formal charge of nitrogen is nitrogen has five valence electrons. So we start off with five minus this nitrogen, like we just said, has four bonds. So minus four minus, do you see any dots surrounding this nitrogen? Absolutely not. So this would be minus zero. So five minus four minus zero is a plus one. So this nitrogen would have a plus one charge to it. Now let's do the nitrogen on the other compound. Formal charge for this nitrogen is, uh, valence is still five, minus, how many bonds does this nitrogen have? One, two, three. So minus three, minus how many dots? One, two. So minus two, and that's zero, so that's neutral. So we have a discrepancy. We have a nitrogen on the left-hand side being a positive one, and then we have a nitrogen on the right-hand side being neutral. Hmm. Now we're just gonna have to figure out the formal charges for the oxygens. Now you can kind of guess what they are going to be by now because uh, hydroxylamine in the upper right-hand corner, they didn't give us a charge, so that means that it has to be neutral. So, if we're looking at this compound, I see that I have a plus one, but the whole thing has to be neutral, which means that it has to be zero. So what do you think this oxygen is going to be? It's probably going to be a negative one, right? But let's just do the math just in case. Formal charge for oxygen is oxygen has six valence electrons. So six minus, it's got one bond. So minus one, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, six dots. And if we do that, it would get a negative one charge. So that's a negative one. And then this oxygen has formal charge of oxygen is valence is six minus this oxygen has two bonds and one, two, three, four, four dots or four lone electrons. 
and that would be equal to zero. Okay, which one is the correct formula for hydroxylamine? Would it be the one on the left that we drew or the one on the right? Well, I'll give you a little hint. I'm going to say that the less charges, the better. If, if an atom, well, if a compound or a molecule is all neutral, it's super, super, super stable, right? The more charges you have means that the, the molecule or the compound is not stable and it wants to react with something. So in this case, in the one on the left, you have a nitrogen being a positive one and an oxygen being a negative one, as opposed to the one on the right that has no charge. Every single atom in that compound is neutral. So... Which one do you think is the actual structure? They said look up the structure, but let's just say, which one is the actual structure? It's going to be the one on the right, where you have the two hydrogens with the nitrogen and then the one hydrogen with the oxygen. All right? They're just tricking you. They wanted you to draw this, because that's usually how students draw it, because of the way that it's written. And then, you know, when you looked it up, you saw that it was completely different. So... Just know that you can draw it both ways, but only one of them is correct, so just be careful. All right? And number 70 is correct. And we did it. So hopefully this was fun. I had fun. What do you guys think? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for learning with me. This is fun. I hope I'm, you know, teaching you guys and making chemistry easy. I want to show that chemistry is fun. So subscribe to the channel if you like. That would help us out tremendously and it would mean the world to me. Thank you for your support. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have an awesome day.